As we reported last time, but it bears repeating, Kimbro has announced its flu vaccination schedule for the year. Flu shots begin on Retiree Appreciation Day. The Air Force, Navy, and Marines get theirs the week of October 24th. Everyone else can also get theirs starting the week of the 24th in the afternoons from noon to 3.30. And the week of October 31st all day from 8 to 3.30. Hello and welcome to Midweek. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Murphy Fieldhouse is closed for repairs. It's Cybersecurity Awareness Month. We have some tips to stay safe and secure online. And suicide prevention news from the VA. These stories and more, but first a reminder from Equal Employment Opportunity. Fort Meade's annual National Disability Awareness Month observance is coming up next Wednesday, October 19th at 11.30 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker is Mr. Keith Nolan, an advocate for the deaf, hard of hearing, and the hearing impaired. Nolan participated in the Army ROTC program at California State University Northridge. He led a congressional fight that ultimately resulted in a bill being introduced that proposes a demonstration program for deaf and hard of hearing Americans to serve in the Air Force. That's coming up October 19th at 11.30 at Club Mead. In a related story, under the law, any federal agency must provide reasonable accommodation to qualified employees with a disability. We recently spoke with Jose Flores, the Fort Meade Disability Program Manager, about the importance of not just those with a disability having the right information, but supervisors and leaders as well. Part of my job is to train supervisors, managers of how the procedure works. So my job is also to ensure that employees know that they're entitled to this. Any of us can become disabled at any time. So the key is that even people with disability can still be productive. Flores adds that these seminars are scheduled on a regular basis, but he's also available to come to your unit by appointment. Contact EEO for more information. Turning to MWR, Murphy Fieldhouse is closed through October 24th for the repair and resurfacing of the indoor basketball court. As a result, the 24-hour option is not available. Gaffney Fitness Center's operating hours remain the same. Elsewhere, October is National Cybersecurity Awareness Month. Here are some tips courtesy of the Air Force and DOD News. Without it, hackers could get into our systems and destroy our infrastructure. It's important that everyone knows their procedures to protect themselves and their computers. The main one would be pulling your CAC out of the computer when you, uh, when you step out of the room, or not plugging in USB hard drives if they're not, um, they're not approved, running regular virus scans, things like that. Avoid using websites that aren't for official use, but even your government email might not totally be secure. You want to look for the little digital signature icon. That would be one sure way of knowing if the email is real or not. So you want to stay away from anything that's not really needed for uh, official business, official duties. Remember, cybersecurity isn't someone else's responsibility. It's ours. In health and wellness news, the Veterans Health Administration announced this week a new tool to aid in suicide prevention. Start the conversation, new tools for veteran suicide prevention is a toolkit designed to help individuals talk to veterans about their emotional health, stress, or even suicide. Veterans face many unique challenges, from experiences of combat and deployments far from home to reintegrating back into civilian life. Some veterans might begin to feel overwhelmed by these challenges and may not know where to turn for support. But each of us can make a difference in the life of a veteran who is feeling stressed, anxious, or hopeless. One connection can be a pivotal step in helping a veteran in need. The Department of Veterans Affairs has a toolkit that can help you get started. The toolkit is available online and provides information about common challenges veterans face and resources the VA provides for both veterans in need and those who care about them. The toolkit also provides concrete how-to information including how to talk to a veteran about their emotional health, distress, or even suicide. Having these discussions can be difficult, but the simple act of starting a conversation can be the turning point that helps a veteran get the care they need and can help save a life. We hope the resources available in this toolkit empower you to start that conversation. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. They do so much for us. That's why we do so much for them. USO Metro is proud to serve those who serve in Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Northern Virginia.